I think it's safe to say that one of my favourite types of projects is landscape gardening, but it can be backbreaking work, just like my recent garden path with stepping stones. So while I was looking for materials on that project, I stumbled across this easy border, recycled tyre border edging. So this week, I'm gonna show you how I installed them in front of my cherry laurels and a few tips along the way. Now, with the Spendy Nature, it gives you the choice of having a curved or a straight look, but the thicker styles are less flexible and they have four set countersunk holes where you'll need to mallet one of their recycled plastic pegs that come with it. I chose the grey scallop borders, which come in 1.2 metre lengths, that's four foot. Anyway, the first thing I appreciated was how easy a dry fit was compared to lugging around concrete ones. Initially, I held my T-square against my path edging to work out where I wanted to install it. Speaking of which... Now, the first issue I may experience is the haunching for my path edging. So I may have to um, maybe drill a bit of a hole there. I've probably got to cut a little bit there as well. I'll talk you through how I worked around that later. Once I've got an idea where I wanted it, I then set up a string line. Then I dug a shallow trench, roughly about one to two inches to set them in. And this took me about 15 minutes and I didn't even break a sweat unlike when I had to dig a trench and use sub base during many of my path projects. And I levelled it off as best I could and wide enough for the edging by scraping along it with my post hole digger. But yes, while I was digging, I was halted by that haunching I mentioned. So a compromise was to drill a hole next to it. Now there's a series of holes underneath which makes it flexible, but the top holes don't go all the way through until you mallet your pegs in. Or you could cut it down closer to another hole. In this case, that meant buying one more length than I needed. But before I worked out where I was gonna cut around my haunching, I did another dry lay to check for high spots and eyeballed what was straight as my garden isn't level. I used a square to mark the width and height of what my notch needed to be. And it's quite dark stuff, so initially I masking taped it so I could see my markings, which kept coming off obviously, and cut with a jigsaw, then finished with a handsaw. Although a white pencil should work better, and later I found a ballpoint pen is actually visible on a sunny day anyway. Once that was cut, I did another dry lay for high and low spots. And the reason I felt I had to do this a lot was with these edgings being flexible, any slight dip was a lot more noticeable than a concrete path edging that naturally holds its shape. So I spent quite a while tinkering with my spirit level. And as long as I match my garden's slight slope and it looked right enough, this would save me a lot more time later. Also something I found that even though I've got a string line, I actually found it easier to set it straight by holding a straight edge against the back and malleting the pegs in as I went. Because again, it's too flexible really that it very easily looks wonky. By the way, if you did want to purchase these, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate below, but I found them much cheaper at my local home bargains. For the last edging, I marked where I needed to cut it before hand sawing, but as it's a firm rubber, you'll find quite a bit of friction. So I made life easier by spraying both the saw and the edging with WD-40 silicon. Then when it came to fitting it, I drilled a final hole here and I found more haunching, although it was probably sub base. So I drilled a new hole further away and the same thing happened again, which I ended up having to drill through the ground as well. So to save you any hassle, if I was gonna do this all over again, I'd just drill through the haunching and then the ground. To finish it off, my husband filled any of the front gaps with soil and tamping it down with his feet. And then I returned to remove any grass tufts that I'd dug out and topped the whole lot with bark. And it really set it off nicely. Something to bear in mind is that it's really only designed for decorative uses like soil retention. And if you know an area is gonna have a lot of traffic, then I'd probably consider a cheaper route like concrete path edgings, but it's a lot more hard work. What method would you choose? 